Let's jump right in with our first point. When you share all information, they make fun of it later. Now, let's imagine a typical scenario. You're in the office break room, casually discussing your weekend adventures or a fascinating personal project that you've been passionately working on recently. It's a casual conversation just to keep the workday monotony at bay. It's your life, your space, and you're freely talking about it. Then there's suddenly a chilling shift in the atmosphere. Instead of being met with expressions of support, encouragement, or even genuine interest, you're faced with snickers, sarcastic remarks, and subtle jibes. Sound familiar? It's a clear-cut case of oversharing going terribly wrong. A common enough occurrence in many workplaces across the globe. You may think, but why? I was just sharing, just conversing. What's with that? The issue lies not in the act of sharing itself, but in the nature and quantity of information shared. Remember, not every colleague in the office is your best friend, your confidant, someone you can trust implicitly. Some folks may weaponize your information using it against you in ways you never expected. This is an essential reminder for everyone in professional spaces. Discretion is so before you spill all the beans, before you let your guard down entirely, think twice, perhaps even thrice, about who you're sharing with and what you're sharing. Not everyone is privy to every detail of your life. It's important to draw the line somewhere. Now, on to our next point. When you share your information, they talk to your enemies and share it with them. This is a phenomenon we've all likely experienced at some point. You confide in a co-worker, perhaps sharing personal details or voicing concerns about a project. You feel a sense of relief, thinking you've found a trustworthy ally in the workplace. Then, word gets around. Suddenly, the information you thought was shared in confidence is common knowledge, including to those you'd have preferred to keep in the dark. Maybe it's simply gossip, or worse, ammunition used against you professionally ever trusted a colleague only to discover later that they've betrayed your confidence to your office. It's a bitter reality to ingest, but regrettably, it's a scenario that's all too common in today's competitive work environments. As such, it's essential to be cautious with whom you with your secrets. Workplace camaraderie is undoubtedly important for a positive work culture. However, it's equally, if not more, crucial to safeguard oneself from possible traitors. Sometimes, it's the people we least expect who turn out to be deceiving. It's a fine line to walk balancing open communication with personal protection, but it is a necessary skill to master in this cutthroat world. So, choose your confidants wisely and don't be afraid to keep certain details close to the vest. Next up, we've got when they share your information with others, which could impact your career or career prospects. My friends, let's take a moment to consider the profound implications of this reality. Our office chit-chats, discussions, and even casual conversations have the potential to shape the course of our professional lives. It might sound exaggerated, but it's accurate. The topics can range from assessments of your performance, personal struggles you may be dealing with, or even your future career aspirations. Remember, the office is a complex web of relationships, and the information you casually share can circulate faster than you think. It's like throwing a pebble into a lake. The ripples reach far and wide. Even well-intentioned colleagues might pass on things you've said, either out of concern or without realizing the potential repercussions. It's crucial to understand the office is not a confessional, it's a professional environment. Let's be cautious of who we trust with our personal insights. The danger lies not only in malicious usage of your information, but also in the spawning of rumors that could potentially tarnish your professional standing. It's not just about the big stuff. Even minor misunderstandings or twisted words can cause damage. Hence, always remember the golden rule. When in doubt, keep it professional and avoid discussing sensitive topics that could come back to bite you in the long run. Now, let's talk about when one party in a conversation is unusually quiet and the conversation becomes akin to a monologue. This is not an ideal situation. Communication, as we all know it, is a two-way street. 
It's an exchange of thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions. It's about building a bridge between two individuals, each contributing their part to the conversation. So, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you seem to be doing all the talking while the other person just listens, it's a cause for concern. It's time to hit the pause button and reassess the situation. There's something inherently wrong with a one-sided conversation. It feels off balance. It has the potential to make the dominating speaker feel uncomfortable and can also signal a lack of trust, interest or engagement from the listener. It could be their way of expressing disinterest or their discomfort in sharing personal information. Either way, it's not a healthy form of communication. Instead of pushing for more information or trying to fill the silence with more words, aim to create an environment that feels safe, non-threatening and open for dialogue. Encourage the other party to express their thoughts. Provide reassurances that their opinions matter. Patient and give them the time they need to open up. Most importantly, be respectful of each other's boundaries. Remember, building rapport takes time. So be patient and respectful of each other's boundaries. And finally, our last point. When someone shares incorrect information or misguides you, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been handed misleading advice or information at your workplace? Situations like these occur more often than we would like. It could be due to propagation of outdated procedures, incorrect data, or simply ill-informed suggestions. It's integral to not accept everything at face value, but rather question its validity and accuracy. Doubting isn't a sign of mistrust. It's a sign of being diligent and taking responsibility for your actions. Remember, the accuracy of the information you source and utilize is paramount to your professional growth and overall success. Data can not only mislead you, but also negatively affect your decision-making process, leading to potential blunders that could have been easily avoided. So what should you do when you come across information that seems dubious? Well, it's simple. Do your own research. Look for reliable sources to corroborate the information. Seek clarification from colleagues or superiors you trust. You might feel slightly uncomfortable, but remember, it's better to ask questions than to stay misinformed. After all, it's only through accurate and precise information that you can make the right decisions, leading your growth in the professional world. So, when in doubt, trust, but verify.